So you see, it's not all bad when God put us in a situation where we have to rely on Him. We're in the best place that we could be possibly because now God can do what we could never do. It just took Him getting us to the place to realize that you can't do it. for joining us today. It's our continual prayer that something has blessed your heart or even changed your life as you listen. It's our vision to share the healing love of Jesus Christ with all who will hear. Would you consider helping us through partnering with us through your giving? Your gift of any amount will help share the gospel of Jesus Christ through this broadcast, Healing the Brokenhearted. And as a special thank you for your gift of $20 or more, we will send you a copy of The Healing Station. Please visit our website at ApostleLarryHearing.com or you can find us on social media. Thank you. Tayden, Lazarus, you got to come forth. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Got to come off those grave clothes. Got to come off, get out, put off those grave clothes. Yes. You know, hallelujah. Glory. And, uh, you know, and no longer, uh, you know, uh, sometimes we say, I'm just waiting on the Lord. Not really. That's He's right. Waiting, waiting on you. On us. Yes. And when he heals us. Yes, he does. My God. It makes all the difference. And here's what the Lord told me years ago. He said, I'm going to heal you and I'm going to bless you. Yes. It's in that order. The healing comes. Because if, if he doesn't heal, then it makes it difficult for the blessings to be maintained. So now God will restore the years that were eaten up. Look at somebody say, they were eaten up. They were eaten up in your life. Hallelujah. But hallelujah. hallelujah. <laughs> Five years passed. Ten years passed. You're trying to do it, with, but it's not happening. Fifteen years passing, twenty years passing, and the time is just getting away, and you're still in the same place. You haven't, but 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 restoration, hallelujah, and recovery is yes. going to recover the years hallelujah. that the devil has taken from us. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank hallelujah. That's why I love the Lord, I tell you, and uh, it's a blessing. We were just talking, coming on about, you know, sometimes we make this faith walk so complicated. Yes. And the moment we try in ourselves to please God, we've just got in the way. Mm -hmm. You see, faith is this. We have been born into the spirit realm, right? Yes. We've been born again, so now we are in the spirit. So I say, I'm in the spirit. I'm in the spirit. See, see, you're not in the flesh. You've been born into the spirit, right? Yes. Of God. So now the spirit of God lives in you, right? Yes. So you're one, you're in the spirit, and you are in Christ, right? Yes. So now to live and to walk in, in, in it just it requires just faith and trust in him because he is in you, right? Amen. So we're talking about the simplicity of it. What happens is when we try to please him in our efforts and whatever, then we've just interfered. Y'all get that? Amen. Because you're trying to do it, I'm going to be nice or I'm going to, you've just got in the way. Yes. See, the faith realm is just, it's like breathing. Yes. You live. You already live in the spirit. So walk in it. Yes. You know, and I was thinking about how it, there's so many things happening and, and God gives us words and knowledge and we're just flowing. It's, you know, you just hear what the spirit is saying. You just share it and, and people are just getting so blessed and it ain't nothing that we, I mean, it doesn't make us great. It's just to mean that we are in the spirit. Yes. 
God is a great one, so he's living in us. So in other words, what you're saying, Brother Heron, we don't have to complicate this spirit life. Amen. You are already accepted by God. You can't get any more accepted by God than you really are, right? So you just develop, you learn, you grow in knowledge, you grow in understanding how to just let him flow through you. And live his life through you. And as we let him live his life through us. See in other words all the displeasing is not coming from God. God he's not displeased with us. That's right. We accept it. He's, we're accepted by God. And so, so it's just. And, and so we were talking about that. How It's like he was saying. Yeah you don't have to make it complicated. He said Abraham. Believed. God. Point blank right. And it was accounted to him for what? Righteousness. He was. Once again, Abraham did what? Believed. He believed God. Abraham, did you have to prove yourself to God? Abraham believed God. It was like he was just showing himself. Look at how simple it is now. So God accepts us when we believe him. Amen. Amen. All right, this, it, it might hit somebody tomorrow what I'm trying to say. But what I'm saying is that it is the simplicity of the word of God. So, I'm, and I'm going to conclude with this in my mind and then I'm turning back here. But uh, it's like what the Lord, it's like he's doing. It's like you're in the spirit. That's yes. the first of all. We have to accept yeah. the fact. You know, sometimes we preach and all this stuff that a well, person in the flesh and all that. We need to re-examine those kind of words. Yes. Because in Romans 8, he says... You are not in the flesh if the Spirit of God is in you. Amen. Y'all hear what I'm saying? So now let's, let's kind of cast aside all this stuff about we're in the flesh and in the Spirit and so on. The ones that were in the flesh are those that didn't have the Spirit of God in them. Right. All right? So we are in the Spirit. Now we just learn to walk in it. Yes. Right? And so once I understand that it's not as complicated as I'm making it, you know, he, in other words, when I allow him to just live through me, it's so amazing. Yes. He talks through me. He just, you know, my actions is maybe something that God has led me to do. It doesn't make me great. It just means that I'm yielding to the spirit of God in me. So, so every one of us have that same potential, right? Amen. Because we're sons of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. And, and uh, faith is the absence of fear. Yes. And so if we're in the spirit mm -hmm. and we're walking in faith, we say uh, faith works by love. Mm -hmm. You know, God is spirit mm -hmm. and God is love. Mm -hmm. So if the spirit of Christ is in us, and we are yielding to the spirit of Christ. Mm -hmm. We are already declared righteous. Yes, yes, Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. It's not the works that we do that makes us righteous. That's right, that's right. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. and, and as so often, mm -hmm. we are trying to please God. That's right. That's right. We don't have to try to please God. Mm -hmm. He's already accepted us in the beloved. Yes, yes, We're yes. already accepted. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. What he requires us is that we just believe God. Uh-huh. Uh believe and trust and have confidence in what he said in this word. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, that's good because I, I got to go pick back on what she said. You remember in the Bible there was a group that said, Lord, what must we do to have eternal life? No, he said, what must we do the, to work, work the, the works, works of, of God? God? And Jesus said, this is the work of God, that we believe on his son. That's the work of God. So when we believe God, we please God. Yes. And it was almost like he was saying, I want to erase a lot of the thinking that keeps you in the bondage rather than the peace. The little fear of, oh, I'm wondering if I'm pleasing God. I wonder how God feels like me. Da, da, da. Maybe I need to do this. Or maybe I need to, I, need, I know I need to draw close to God. And all those things may be fine. But they do not have anything to do with our acceptance in him. I am God's child. Yes. 
I received him by faith in what Christ has already done for me. So now as I continue to grow in God, I can enjoy my life better, right? Amen. Because I am F-R-E-E. -E. I am free. free. Hallelujah, Hallelujah to Christ. And so the, the faith life brings a lot of peace and a lot of freedom. And that's what God wants out of our lives. He wants us to be free. You breathe. You breathe. You live in God. Like a small example. It's like uh, this morning and the, the Lord had, I, I was lying on my bed and I saw the word faith come before my eyes. Okay. And uh, so I go to church and as I was, um, wasn't sure as to how, what he wanted to do. So I get there and as I said before, I got there to just this morning, and so, boom, Mario shows up with my needle, and I said, wow, wow, you know, and so Jesse screamed, just, <laughs> and uh, so, as we went on in, and the services start, and uh, there was a moment of testimonies, and so as he got up, because he was just in the spirit, somebody say he was in the spirit, right? Just in the spirit. Remember, he didn't have to do nothing weird, he didn't have to get deep, right? Yeah. All he did was just got up to share a testimony and he said, without faith, it is impossible to please him. To please him. Is anybody getting what I'm trying to say? Yeah. We don't have to make it complicated. That's what I felt God saying. You don't have to make something complicated. You're already accepted. We're accepted by God. Yes. He, he is pleased with our lives by faith when you believe him and receive him. And so, uh, it, as, as like anybody, when children, we may have to grow, and that's one thing. But uh, the spirits are designed to grow, so it ain't something that uh, you have to be hindered. So I just want to make it simple uh, as to what God was saying. And, and so I was just, pre I'm just preaching and sharing, and I prayed for uh, him, you know, and uh, as I prayed for him, I just felt impressed. It was nothing strong to just embrace him as my son, and I embraced him and so on. And after, what well, then he's weeping and everything, and here's him testifying. I'm only making a point here because he'll probably tell you didn't. But he was saying, yeah, I was telling the Lord, I have, you know, people rejecting, da, da, da. But long story short, he said, Lord, I just need a hug. I didn't have to get deep. I'm just living. I'm just sensing the Lord, and I just did, you know. I, I didn't even have to take a lot of time to think about it. I just embraced him. What I'm saying is that I was just moving in the spirit. So the spirit life, because we are in God, is not to be complicated. Many, many times a day we move in the spirit. We don't, probably don't even think about it. But we're moving in the spirit realm. I hope this will help somebody to not to feel like uh, I got to do so much to please God. You do please God if you believe him. He can bring you to all of this. So does that help anybody? I hope it does. <laughs> Amen. All right. With that in mind, we're going to move down here and begin to. Just take it a step further. I just believe what the Lord said. And uh, it's just, you know, like uh, uh, the lady I said that blessed us. She paid for the motel bill. We didn't have to go and plead with the Lord. Lord, what are we going to do? You know how much we got. We only got just about enough. to. We didn't have to go through those changes. We just went in faith, right? And so here he just provided here, and he provided for the food and everything. So none of the money that we had calculated that we had to spend, we have to, we had to spend, right? It's just living God. with God, yes. right? Yes. Hallelujah. Living for God. It must be a joyous journey. It must not be complicated. Yes. It must not be drudgery. It must not be such effort. And here again, I want to say this. When I'm trying so hard to please God, I'm not doing it. Amen. Amen. Now that might sound contradictory. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But when I rest, see, faith makes you rest. Yes, it does. You cannot rest in God unless you, in faith, believe him, right? When I believe God, then I can rest. My spirit can rest. I'm not trying to do... 
I'm, he, I'm not trying to please him. He's living in me. Right. I, I don't know if I'm making it wrong, but he's living. You have a confident trust in him. Yes. You know, where well, yeah. you don't have to uh, strain to satisfy him. Exactly. You know, because we already accept it. Exactly. You know, and the rest comes when we put our confidence and trust in him and not in ourselves. There, now, that's the point. When we are not trusting in our ability to please him. That makes sense, everybody? We don't trust in that. We only trust in God who works in our lives. Yes. The way he wants to work in our lives. You'll find more joy. You'll, I'll find more peace. Yes. I'll find more rest. In the Lord, so I can get up in the morning. I don't have to be afraid that, you know. And, and this took me a while because a slave, they fear all the time. Uh -huh. From the morning to night, they fear. Why do they fear? Because they never know whether or not they are pleasing yes. their master. They never know when their master may come up to them and going to whip them. For something they, they didn't do. God says, I don't want that kind of relationship. Yes. I want you to love me. I want you to enjoy your life with me. I live in you. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, I was, as I was standing here, the Lord reminded me what he taught me. He said, fear is the absence of faith. Mm -hmm. And faith is the absence of fear. Yes, yes. Amen. You can't have fear and faith. That's right. Mm -hmm. You're going to have one or the other. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And, and, you know, the Lord said, cast not away your confidence. Mm -hmm. Your confidence is that trust in God. Yes, for God. it has a recompense of a great reward. Mm -hmm. In other words, we are rewarded for the obedience and the rest that we have in God. Yes. Amen. Because we'll have this report that we please God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And so if we're feeling like we're not pleasing God, we are not operating in faith. Yes. We'll operate in ourselves. Yeah. Hallelujah. And yeah. our self efforts to please him. Exactly. He's already pleased. Exactly. Amen. So we can rest in the confidence. Mm -hmm. And that's what faith is. It really Confi is. Confidently resting mm -hmm. in who God is, mm -hmm. what he say, mm -hmm. and then if we know what he's saying, mm -hmm. obey what he is saying to us, mm -hmm. and that's uh, attributed to us for mm -hmm. righteousness. Exactly. It's simple. And so, so the recovery part is God redeeming the time, God restoring all those years where we lived in fear and not received the blessedness of faith and peace that God intended for us when Christ died for our sins. In that state where I had this deep, buried anger, mm -hmm. it caused me not to walk in faith. Mm -hmm. Because I began to trust in myself. Mm -hmm. I began, when the Lord would, uh, my husband would ask me to do something, uh, that fear would step up there, and I said, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. Or I'm not going to do it, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. because of the fear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then when I made up my mind to try to do what he asked me to do, mm -hmm. then I felt like, Lord, I got to go to the Word, and I got to find a message, mm -hmm. and I was trying to do it. And she would spend so many hours I reading and so reading and reading. I reading, going so, to so many books, and still had nothing. Exactly. And at the end, she, she said, honey, I ain't got nothing. I said, wait a minute, I just told you you've been studying. You've been. <laughs> but all that fear was just clouding the simple faith in God. Yeah. How many know when you got faith, if, 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 if God wants you to minister word, when you trust in you, you're leaning on you. Yes. Fear is subject to come in. Right, because you're trusting in yourself. But once you are trusting in God in you, and I'm not saying you don't study. That's not what I'm, I'm saying. Right. But I'm saying relying on the Spirit of God yes. who lives in you. Yes. And uh, how many times have I got up in different situations and uh, I got caught unaware and said, Oh, God, I didn't have time to even blah, blah, blah. And, and, and here, let me say, share this. One time, I... Um, I had an appointment scheduled to minister out, and it was they asked me like two or three months down the, uh, prior to that, and so I, I said yeah, and I made a notation, and totally um, the time slipped up on me, 
in the very day that I was supposed to minister that night. So they, somebody called me from the church and says, uh, Pastor Herring, this is so-and-so with so-and-so. I said, hello? And he says, we're looking forward to seeing you tonight. And I thought, tonight, tonight, tonight. I said, oh, my God. Totally, totally, totally forgot it. There I was. We were sitting in a restaurant like three hours beforehand. Didn't have no clue. Didn't have nothing. And I just felt, oh, dear Jesus, please, what am I going to do? So I'm going. And so we rush back home, get dressed, da, da, da. And then we head over there. And I'm just really putting on God, just like, Lord Jesus, please help me. I, I forgot, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm singing a song, you know what I mean? really going through the motion. And then the Lord said to me, so beautiful, he said, it is the spirit that quickens. Mm -hmm. The flesh profits That's nothing. Not That's right. And I said, whoa. And he said, this is what I want you to preach about. Go there to the place there. This is like a less than an hour before I had to speak. Because I was right there. I had gone to the church and still didn't have nothing. I'm just really going through conipsis. And so uh, right before then, and he told me that. And he said, I want you to shut up. So I got up to preach. And we had a time that night. Now, because of me now. You That's know what I'm right. saying? That's right. Because of the one who lives inside of all of us. He just showed himself. What he needed from me was just not depend on me. Yes. So he put me in a position where I had to rely on him. him. Yes. So you see, it's not all bad when God put us in a situation where we have to rely on him. We we're in the best place that we could be possibly because now God can do what we could never do. It just took him getting us to the place to realize that you can't do it. <laughs> I true. knew that years ago. But it's just taken you a long time to understand you can't do it. Yes. But I live in you and I will accomplish through you what you could never ever do in your life. That sounds good to somebody. Let's thank him a little bit. He's worthy. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. Hallelujah. I, I, I don't know. The last point here, I had a, a minister friend of mine, my mentor. He said, um, one day, he had to preach out. And pastors, if you listen to me, you, you can... In, in, you pass us here in the Hampton Roads, you can, this might bless you. He had to preach out, had a preaching engagement, and that day something happened where the enemy provoked him. And he got so angry with his sister, he slapped her. Just, he just got that, that angry. And he just knew he was done. Watched out. Nothing was going to happen that night. It was going to be a disaster because now he didn't act it out of character. Are you saying that was okay? No, I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is he was trusting in the fact that his good works, God blesses him and uses him because of his good works. So when his good works failed and he still had to preach, now he could no longer trust in his good works, right? That's right. Because his good works says that you're not so good. You didn't do so good. So now he felt like the service is going to be a disaster. But that service proved to be one of the greatest times that God used him like he had never experienced in his life. What God was trying to show him is not by your good works. When Christ went to Calvary, it was because of God's love for us. He did what nobody could do. And our whole Christian experience is based on the love that God so loved us that he went to the cross and died, paid the price for our total sins, past, present, and future. And now the life that we live now, we live by faith of the Son of God who loved us so much and gave his life for us. Look at somebody who says, now God wants you to breathe freedom. 
and rest in him. Let's thank him right now. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. I want you to pray with me now. Father, in Jesus' name, we just thank you so much. But this is what you've been making clearer to us, Lord. Yes, Lord. How that many times we don't enjoy our Christian experience because many times we're just living like slaves. We have fears. We just have fears. Fear that we are not going to accomplish what God has for us. Fear that he won't measure up. Just fears, 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 fears. And but you want to relieve us of those kind of fears in serving you. Yes. We are accepted in you. You that has begun a good work in us will perform it till the day of Christ. Thank you right now. Thank you, Father, for what you've done, what you're doing, and what you will do. And I'm going to call these names that came before me as my wife was preaching and I wasn't even thinking. And I want you to just believe in the Lord in me enough to just come and open your spirit. It's not my love. It's God's love. It's not what I know. It's what God knows. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. And I promise you one thing, that if it was God, and I believe it was, and if you open your hearts in faith, he'll bless you like he wants to bless you. Father, touch these whose names that we're about to call now. Let the glory of your wonderful grace be upon them now. And Lord, every praise and every honor and every glory shall not be mine. Yours and yours alone. I simply obey that touch of the Spirit what you touch my heart to say so that men and women might know that any glory and any honor it goes to you and you alone I thank you right now and I give your name the praise thank you for my wife's testimony for what you did for her life do it for others in Jesus name somebody thank him hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 